Sorry if I blew your speakers. Yeah. It's inadvertently causing computer damage. Ah! What's up, everybody, on Who Could Get Away? I'm Silencer. That dude right there, will that be cryptic, Mac? That's Tony. My leg itches, and that's Jeff. Um, today we are doing another Shisha review that uh, our good buddy and fellow staff member Eric sent over to us. You rock! Yeah, so uh, Eric, uh, way to go. Um, you know, in a shameless plug, uh, be sure to check out uh, all the special deals at Crazy Eric's Raisin Hose Emporium. For all your Raisin Hose needs, we got red hoses, blue hoses, and Raisin Hoses. <laughs> Pronounce was on. Yeah. That's, that's why it's... And Carl Macchiato. <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> Eric, if you're watching this, buddy, I just want you to know your your Carl Ma Mar was it Maraschino? Is that what it said? <laughs> Maraschino. <laughs> butchered the pun pronunciation. I love you, Eric, but I crack up every time I see that video, man. You and pronunciation gets me every time. But uh, this is one that uh, that Eric uh, sent over to us. He was gracious enough to donate this to us to review. It is from the Alamir Exotic line. This is Bing Cherry. Which, uh, interesting sidebar, I used to, ha my grandma used to give me just Bing cherries, she loved those. She would get them in like every season, right in the spring, early summer, delicious. They're the, one, they're the black ones with the seeds in the middle, if anybody's had those before. Apparently Tony's had them a couple of times um, before too. I, I was just thinking about it, we have two cherry trees where I live that have those. Yeah, so apparently Tony's also used to them, so we at least know what, you know, an accurate representation of what this should be. Um... When we got this, for one, I like the fact that it has the screw lid. That's kind of nice. We haven't messed around with the exotic line before. So uh, this is definitely different than your standard Alamir, because, you know, typically Alamir I hate. But um, the exotic blends I've heard a lot of good things about, so I was really eager to try this one. Um, the first thing you'll notice on this one is uh, it has a bit of a... Uh, it, it's sort of chunks of, of tobacco. And uh, mm, it is, it is, chunky. exactly, it, it is very, 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 very moist. There's, there's a lot of, a lot of juice on this one. Slightly lighter, but still syrupy. So, you know, obviously for heat reasons, that's, to, to me, is a good thing. Um, you are going to run across things like this, your, uh, your tree trunks. And there is a pretty substantial number in these. Uh, that may not, that may, that may be the case for all the Alamir exotics. I love to try more, so vendors, if you're watching, we love you. But um, anyway, what shameless plugging's not that bad. Um, anyway, uh, this one, when we first opened the jar on this, we were both knocked backwards because this flavor was phenomenal. The the smell on it. I mean, it smells just like. A fresh cherry picked off the tree. I mean, this is this. Th you can't get flavor. You can't get flavor accuracy any better than than what this smells like right off the cuff. You know, I mean, I've had a lot of cherry shishas before, and I never liked them for one reason or another. But this one smells excellent. It smells excellent. It really does. I mean, just fresh dark cherry flavor. Excellent. Excellent. But um. Anyway, uh, we have this loaded up uh, three coconaras on a uh, funnel bowl uh, with the scally mod inside. So we're uh, we're working with that at the moment. Um, again, the the um, the moisture on this uh, certainly led to uh, you know believing that there was a very strong uh, going to be a very strong flavor coming off of it. Um, now, as you see from Tony over here, smoke cloud wise, we're doing good. Um, while he's taking a hit. Before he mentions the flavor, I just moved the coals and the flavor just kind of like, it came out! Yeah, I mean, it, it's starting to come out a little bit more now. We, we, we find that for this particular flavor, it takes a while for it to mellow out. Like, when we first put the coals on, we were scared a little bit because I was like, wow, did that get harsh all of a sudden? Did we scorch this somehow? But no, it, sometimes it'll do that right at the beginning, I've noticed, and then just give it another minute. Let it smoke, and it will mellow out yes. as time goes on. It only takes like a minute or so for that little tingle in the back of your throat to go away, which is important. But, um... Random words by Tony. Peanut butter, jelly, sandwich, gravy. <laughs> that's that's going to be the new thing now. To fill in dead space whenever I'm trying to take a hit since I'm the mouthpiece of the group, Tony's just going to insert random words. Randomness! It's <laughs> always fun. <laughs> 
But, um, yeah, the flavor is definitely coming out uh, a little bit more now that we've been smoking on this, because we have put some time into this bowl. I'd say about a half hour or so. That sound about right? I'd say about 40 minutes. More yeah, about, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe it is 40, 45 minutes or so. But um, we have been burning on this one for a little while, and the flavor is now getting pretty nice. Yeah, at first the flavor was really kind of mild. It was like the the smell like smacked you in the face, but when you smoked it, it didn't. It translates beautifully in the flavor, but it wasn't like super heavy flavor. And we're for the like, intensity hey, of what was in this jar, I was expecting it to be more like a just a solid cherry punch in the face. Yeah. And it wasn't, which was a downside, but as he was up there bleh, chatting, um, I moved the coals, and yeah, the flavor came out phenomenally a lot better. So it's just, it, after time, at, at base, I, it might just be the funnel bowl. As heat hits it, it may bring out the flavor more. So give it time, flavor will come. I mean, with anything, if you give it time, it will come. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Comic <laughs> relief by, provided by Tony, everyone. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I question the people that are our fans. But, um, you know, again, the flavor started to come out a little bit more on this one. It's still not the intensity of the cherry flavor from the jar that you smell. Um, but it's close. But it, it is definitely a little... It is definitely close to it. And, you know, I, I'm really enjoying this one. I am, you know. I mean, if, you, if you've been paying attention to this, look at this guy. I mean, the clouds coming off of this stuff, in some cases, is just absurd. And they're, they're poofy and real thick. As you saw, my black shirt disappeared. As his I mean, face did. Yeah, I mean, the, the cloud size on this stuff is actually very nice. Um, we're just using regular water in the base. I wish I would have added some ice so it would have had that heaviness to it, too. But, um, you know, I, I, I like the way this one's smoking. I do. And it's surprising to hear me say that because me and Alamir, the regular brand, just don't get along. I, I have never liked the Alamirs that I've smoked that are, that are not from the exotic blend. This is actually the first one from the exotic blend that I have tried. And I'm telling you, it's a world of difference. It really is. You know, I mean, the clouds on these are nice and thick. Um, the flavor is, is lasting for a while, even if it's not as intense as it smells out of the jar. Um, you know, the only real potential drawbacks, of course, is, you know, if you're expecting it to be as strong of a flavor, maybe not. And also, of course, the, the stem issue as well. But, um, I do enjoy this one, and I think it's a very accurate flavor, because it's not just sugar with a drop of cherry, for lack of a better way to put it. This is, you know, this is authentic to the fruit itself, which is very nice. And again, you know us, we're, that's how we appreciate things. Um... I, I really, I really do recommend this one. Uh, I think this is, uh, I think this is something that a lot of people would enjoy, especially if you happen to be a fan of cherry, but have been disappointed by other cherry brands in the past. Um, I am really excited if I could try more exotic brands from Alamir because th this is, th this actually was, was a, this changed my perspective on them as a manufacturer. Um, I do enjoy this a lot, uh, but. Uh, I don't know, we've been thinking about this, and, you know, again, the, the flavor variables and a little bit of an unusual burn characteristic can be a little bit of a drawback, I know. But, um, if I had to go with a number on this one, uh, I'd say... <sighs> Damn. This is, this, is, this is phenomenally better than most Alamir's. Um, Eight? Yeah, I, I think, you know, I know we've been giving that number here recently, but this one really is above <coughs> standard for what I've experienced. And this is a particularly good smoke from the Alamir line. Yeah. The, so the only reason it's an eight is the stem issue and the uh, the flavor. The weirdness. First. Yeah. yeah. I mean, other than that, it's phenomenal. The clouds are awesome. Yeah, I'd say pick this one up for sure. Um, but both of us have this one at an eight. Um, as always, I'm Silencer. That dude up there, well, that'd be Tony. If you guys want to see more of us, check us out on WhoCouldGiveaway.com. There's also going to be a bunch more really awesome contests coming up, including some sponsors from Mia Sarai. So if you want to win some of their products, check us out. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Bye-bye.